But let's move on to the other side of that Buffalo oh. matchup for your boy, Ray, the oh. big dog, Mr. Oh. Number One himself. Let's and talk go. about the let's Chicago go. Bears, mm. baby. Caleb I Williams made his nails. debut. Uh, you see hey, the helmet the back the there. Game, the, right? You see the SC helmet right there, right? You see the helmet right there. Talk about it, Jay. I mean, what is there to say? Caleb Williams did what he does. He scrambled in the pocket. He made great plays. Here you see it on the rollout, hitting the receiver basically on a full sprint. Look, that's um, just he showed a Jay. bit of everything that makes him Jay, a great ridiculous. and number one quarterback. Yeah, Look, this is what he does. Pressure though. on is, his face. This is Caleb Williams, right? Oh my this gosh. Is what he does. Just, just one more time. One more time for the one time right here. Jay Rich. On a roll, Jay. Yep. And this yep. is this is Caleb Williams. And before that, he had looked like he was sacked in the pocket, somehow rolls mm -hmm. out. A I am excited for life in Chicago. I am excited for the Bears, for Bears fans to have a quarterback like this. As upset as they were that they did not do enough to surround Justin Fields, I don't think anybody is going to care. Caleb Williams was as advertised. Uh, DeAndre Swift looked incredible. Cole Komet yep. had a big play. You saw him right there. Also dropped one in the game. Apparently, Gerald Everett is the tight end you want out of Chicago, not Cole Komet. Um, you talk about DJ Moore and Keenan Allen. Those are the two that are on the field in what? 12 personnel. When you figure that the two damn all-pro receivers are going to be the guys out there as the two primary receivers and not Romo Dunze, who was out there in 11 personnel, three wide receiver sets. Uh, but this was all about Caleb Williams, and we got to see him play. Played a couple of series. I thought he looked really good escaping the pocket, flicking, flicking the ball to DeAndre Swift. He looked explosive. Mm -hmm. Khalil Herbert looked a lot better. Looks like the, you know, I know he played deep into the Hall of Fame game, but he was up as the second running back for Chicago, Jay. I'm, I'm excited about these Bears. I, I don't know how high we should be drafting all three of these receivers still. It still feels like maybe we need to reel back the expectation level a little bit. But I'm excited for Chicago, and I thought Caleb was spot on in his debut. Yeah, Caleb was ad advertised, and we didn't even mention that he also looked effective running the ball as well, right? Which we didn't really expect to see a ton of, especially early on, but we know he's capable of it because that escapability in the pocket was definitely shown. Ray, do you want to talk a little bit about some of these players beyond, you know, the obvious Keenan Allen, DJ Moore? Because you brought up Gerald Everett versus Cole Komet. Uh, Everett ran more routes and he had more snaps than Komet. So just something to monitor and note of. Maybe it will change as you go on throughout the preseason. But that was something of note. And then, of course, the running backs, Khalil Herbert, once again, looked pretty good. But Swift did look great in the passing game. So it was great for the Bears. A good start. We'll have to monitor the pass catchers. But once again, there's a lot of playmakers on this offense. And we don't know who's going to be the guy. But I think it's safe to say they're in great hands with Caleb Williams. And what would you say is your expectation for him currently? Would you expect him to be a top 12 quarterback in his rookie season? Yeah, it's tough, okay. right? But yeah, I, I think for him, with his weapons, his skill set and talent, I do expect him to be a top 12 quarterback. That is, that's not an easy ask, and I'm not making it seem like he should automatically do that. But yeah, I'm drafting Caleb Williams with the expectation that he is going to be a top quarterback, a top 12 quarterback. And quick note, Velas Jones, the failed wide receiver, uh, played running back. Jay six rushes, ran <laughs> well. He yeah, he he played at first because at first when I saw Jones, I was like, "Is that it's Velas Jones, man?" He got to run the That's ball, crazy. ran the ball well. So I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe maybe in those leagues where you get kick return points and, yeah, he's and, a and things too, of that right? nature. I, I don't know if he returned it in the game, but I think he is a returner. So maybe there's some. Uh, some opportunity to get you some he Bellis did do kick Jones. returns. But, yeah, he had one kick return. Yeah, so there he you go. Bellis Jones, returner. the returner slash running back, Swiss Army Knight for the Chicago Bears. 